Would you like to learn about a simple process that can help you manifest your desires with more ease? Well, if so, then allow me to introduce you to quantum jumping. Quantum jumping is a powerful process that will allow you to manifest and draw in your desires with more ease. And in this video today, I want to introduce you to quantum jumping, give you some insight into what exactly is quantum jumping and how exactly does it help you manifest your desires with more ease. Because when you learn this powerful process that you don't ever have to worry about if you're ever going to manifest the things that you want, because you will be able to connect with it with more ease and then draw it in. So let's start out with what exactly is quantum jumping. Now you may have heard of it before or maybe not, but quantum jumping is a process where you actually connect with a different lifetime, a different dimension of you where you are actually living the life that you want, experiencing the things that you want, or even having the things that you want. For example, if you would love to have a very successful spiritual business or experience financial abundance or be in a loving relationship, being with your soulmate or where you're absolutely fit and healthy. Because you see, the thing is there are multiple dimensions and there are multiple yous in those different dimensions where you live different lifetimes. So there is a life where you're absolutely fit and healthy. There's a lifetime where you are absolutely financially abundant. There is a lifetime where you're uh, super successful. There is a lifetime of anything and everything that you, that you actually would like to experience, right? So quantum jumping is the process of you connecting to those different dimensions and watch yourself live that life. Like you're basically the, the fly on the wall watching yourself live that life and then soaking in the experience because if you desire financial abundance, well, that you that is financial abundance reacts differently, responds to life differently, shows up differently, feels differently. So when you're using the process of quantum jumping and you're connecting with that dimension, with that lifetime of you uh, experiencing the financial abundance or the success or whatever it is that you want, and you're really watching yourself going through the day and you're soaking in all the frequency of, of that life, you're actually then connecting to that lifetime, to that experience on an energetic level. And that then draws it in. And this is how quantum jumping can truly help you manifest the life that you want. Because you've probably heard of law of attraction. I mean, who hasn't, right? But you see, the thing is, law of attraction is actually limited. Because with law of attraction, you have to visualize you living that life and, and, and bring up the, the feelings. But the thing is, you have no idea how that is. You have no idea how you will feel whenever you're financial abundance. It's like, like you can imagine, you can kind of think like, okay, I guess this is how I would feel. So that's why law of attraction is kind of limited because everything has to come from you. You have to bring up that feeling. You have to kind of imagine how it's going to be. And that is quite limited because you don't know. You don't know how you would feel. You don't know how your life would be. So there, that puts a little bit of a damp on it. Now, quantum jumping, on the other hand, that's like law of attraction on steroids because you're connecting to a lifetime where you're actually living that life. So you're not actually, ha it doesn't have to come from you. The visualization doesn't have to come from you. You're connected to a life. And it's like you're watching a movie, but you're actually then feeling the experience. So you're seeing everything unfolding. You can then watch the entire day, for example, like how you're getting up in the morning, how you are, you know, feeling you know, and how you're showing up differently. And then you're soaking in the experience because you're connected to that you in that other dimension, in that other lifetime, but you're not actually interacting with it, but you're just connected so you can then feel the feelings when you're getting up in the morning and how you're feeling as that, you know, you that has what you would like. That's why quantum jumping is so extremely powerful because as you are watching yourself in that different dimension, in that other lifetime, you don't actually have to imagine it because you're just seeing it happening, right? And then you're connecting to that on an energetic level. You're experiencing it on that level. You're soaking in. So basically your job when you're doing quantum jumping is you enter that lifetime, you're that fly on the wall, you're just watching everything unfolding. You're seeing different things. You're like connecting on that emotional level, how it is. You're soaking 
soaking in all that, that frequency. You're soaking in the emotions, the experience. You're soaking it all in. So you're basically soaking up that life on an energetic level, right? You're soaking it all in. And then it becomes part of you. So then when you then come back out, and if you're doing this more often, if you're doing this more frequently, you're actually adjusting on an energetic level to that lifetime because you keep soaking it in. And that in itself will then help you draw in that kind of experience with more ease and more quickly. And that's why quantum jumping is truly a law of attraction on steroids because when you're in that lifetime, you don't have to, like I said, figure the stuff out or you come up with all the uh, like imagining things, think of how it's going to be because you're watching it. Because with law of attraction, then when doubt comes in, it kind of limits what you're imagining because, well, doubt puts a damper on it. But when you when you quantum jump, there is no doubt. I mean, yes, doubt may come up, but then you want to put that aside. But you're seeing everything unfolding like you're watching a movie. You're just watching yourself in that lifetime, in that different dimension, and you're soaking it all in. And the more you connect, the more you do this process, the more you connect with that lifetime, the more you soak it in, you're adjusting on an energetic, on a, on an energetic level, on that frequency. You're, you're becoming that from the inside out because you're soaking in that frequency. And that actually then speeds up the process of you then actually experiencing things like that in your own life because you're embodying that frequency. Then you start acting from a higher place, a, a place like that is more in alignment with that you from that other dimension. You're energetically aligning yourself to that and that's what draws it in. And you can actually do quantum jumping uh, more often if you would like. Now, the key thing with quantum jumping is uh, you need to be able to hold the frequency. So if you're doing quantum jumping once and you're connecting with a lifetime and it's something simple, something easy, and you, yeah, you're really connecting to that energetically and you're holding the frequency once you come out, then that's fine. You don't have to repeat it again. But if you're, if you're noticing that if it's something big, let's say financial abundance or something that's really, really important to you, you may need to do the quantum jumping more often until you can really hold the frequency in your life right now. That when you're going about your day, you're still energetically connected to that other lifetime, to the frequency, the essence of that. Once you're noticing that the connection is a little wonky, it doesn't, you don't hold the energy like that anymore, then continue doing the quantum jumping, continue connecting to that lifetime. And you do that in meditation. You're really tuning in, connecting, and you do, you're, you're connecting with that other lifetime until you can really hold the energy. So whether you want to do it daily or once a week or every other day or however you feel called to do this, but the more you connect, the more you are able to hold the frequency, the easier it will be for you and the quicker this life will then come about. However, there's one thing I do need to mention though is when you quantum jump, you must then still surrender and detach. Because yes, when you're in this other lifetime and you want this, you're soaking it in, you just want it to happen like right away, right? You still, in this lifetime, you still need to grow ready for it. Things still need to align. What you're doing through quantum jumping is you're soaking in the frequency. It becomes part of you. But then it needs time to kind of catch up. Your life, your, your human body, your mindset, everything needs time to catch up on it. You're just bringing in uh, the frequencies. So you're, you're growing ready for it from the inside out. But then there needs to be time to, to adjust everything on the outer world, right? So you just need to then surrender, surrender that. Yes, I'm holding the energy. I know it's coming. So you're surrendering that, uh, that desire and you're also detaching from it, not having somewhat of a timely limit. Like, okay, by this day, I need to have this and that or being attached to exactly how it's meant to be. Still, you want to surrender. You want to detach. But what you can do is you keep bringing in the energy, you keep holding energy. And then from that place, from that, you know, that new you, you want to act from that place. You want to act from that place of that new you that has embodied that frequency. You can also think of like, okay, how would my me in that other lifetime respond to this? What would my other me do on a daily basis? You can do that, connecting to that on that level and then act from that place. But that's how you start manifesting with more ease. And if you would like to learn more about quantum jumping, definitely be sure to subscribe because I will then also release a video uh, like a guided immersion, a light language immersion journey to 
to connect on an energetic level with that other lifetime, but an also an actual process of how to go about it. Now, in this video, I just want to give you an introduction around quantum jumping. And I hope I sparked your interest because once I discovered uh, quantum jumping, oh my God, it was so powerful and it started to really change my life as well. The more I started doing quantum jumping, I'm seeing the, the effect in my life because of this process. So it's truly a powerful process that I felt called and guided to share with you, to give you that insights into that so you can maybe try it as well. And I would like to know from you, and by the way, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the, hit the like button. But I would like to know from you, have you ever heard of quantum jumping or have you maybe even tried it? I would love to know, leave me a comment below. But thank you so much for being here. Now be sure to check out this video here about breaking free from old identities. That also will be able to help in helping you manifest with more ease because you need to let go of old identities in order to bring in the new. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make it an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.